The Asian American community is diverse and growing. With 11 million eligible voters spread across several battleground states, Michael George reports on the increasing power at the ballot box that could have an impact in November. I'm ready to vote. I want everyone's voice to be heard. They're ready to vote across America. We are registering voters. Nevadans, early voting starts on October 17th. So that's the Tagalog. Asian Americans, like 25-year-old Jaywon Jung, want their voices heard, too. Yeah, one more for you. Jung, an immigrant from South Korea, will cast her first ballot for president. And because she just became a citizen, her vote is a monumental moment. She's doing her part with one APIA Nevada making videos telling others why it's important to vote in the battleground state. Are you scared for the future of the country? I think I am scared for the future of the country. I think one of the biggest issues right now is that people are so divided. One thing I'm going to look for in a candidate is to unite all of the groups together. Candidates who have largely ignored these voters in the past now recognize their power. 2020 is going to be a watershed year when it comes to Asian American community members finding their vote and finding their voice. That's right. yeah. Stephen Choi is an advocate for the New York Immigration Coalition. How powerful is the Asian American vote? The Asian American vote is incredibly powerful. Across the country, it is going to be the swing vote the margin of victory in so many critical elections, including the presidential election. You're saying the Asian American vote could actually determine the outcome of this election? Absolutely. Their power comes from their numbers. More than 22 million strong, Asian Americans are the fastest growing racial group in the country. More than half are eligible to vote, a record number. They can mail it to you. More Asian Americans identify as Democrat than Republican. In a recent survey, more than half say they support former Vice President Joe Biden. But President Trump has a sizable base among Vietnamese American voters. Good morning, are you registered to vote? Which candidate gets their vote may come down to who best addresses their main concerns, including the pandemic, unemployment, and racial justice. If we remain visible and voiceless, then we will be victimized. Activist and Hollywood icon George Takei. Sometimes elections are won by a small margin, a thin margin, and we can make that difference. We should be mindful that we count. With just weeks to go before Election Day, community organizers are handing out information printed in several languages with one message, vote. The Biden campaign is aggressively courting Asian American support in Nevada. Nevada actually is the only battleground or swing state with a double-digit AAPI population at roughly 11 percent. Christian Botto works for the state Democratic Party. We know what this community means to the outcome of this election, to the state, and we're not taking it for granted. I accept your nomination for vice president of the United States of America. Biden sent a strong signal that inclusion matters when he chose Kamala Harris, the first vice presidential nominee of black and Asian heritage. Her mother was born in India. She raised us to be proud, strong black women. And she raised us to know and be proud of our Indian heritage. President Trump is also working hard in Nevada, a state he narrowly lost four years ago. He hopes to turn that around with his record on the economy, while facing criticism that his comments on the coronavirus promote hate against Asian Americans. And before the China virus came in, produced the best unemployment numbers for African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans ever recorded. Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes is co-chair of Asian Pacific Americans for Trump. He has done an amazing job creating an environment of success, whether it's financial and economic success, or standing up for families or freedom, here and abroad. President Trump is trying to build on the goodwill he's established with Indian Americans. He's attended rallies with India's prime minister in Houston and in a jam-packed cricket stadium in India. Mr. Donald Trump. 
I want to make sure that a candidate earns my vote. Rani Mazumdar immigrated from India when he was 12 years old. He embraced the American dream and now owns four Indian restaurants in New York City. He says neither party has shown him it can repair the damage COVID-19 has done to small businesses. No, no, no. You're not going to win me over just because you said one thing, just because you got in a candidate that actually matches my skin color. That's not how it works. Show me your policy. Show me how efficient you are with those policies and actually executing it. Then we will talk. This election, an unprecedented chance for Asian Americans to make their voices heard. For Asian Americans, 2020 has been a battle, a battle for their lives in a pandemic, a battle against bias, a battle for respect. But most of all, it has always been a struggle to be seen and heard as the Americans we know we are. For all of my colleagues at CBS News, I'm Elaine Quijano. Thank you for watching Asian Americans Battling Bias. We hope it encourages a more united States of America. We thought it was a lockdown. They opened the fire. Them bullets was flying. Who said it was a lockdown? Goddamn lie. Oh my, time heals all, but you out of time now. Judge gotta watch us from the clock tower. Little tear gas cleared the whole place out. I'll be back with the hazmat for the next round. We was trying to protest and the fires broke out. Look out for the secret agents, they be planted in the crowd. Set a civil unrest, but you sleep so sound. Like you don't hear the screams when we catching beat down. Staying quiet when they're killing, but you speak loud when we ride. Got opinions coming from a place of privilege. Sicker than the COVID, how they did them on the ground. Speaking of the COVID. COVID, cause it's still going around. Oh, won't you tell me about the looting? What's that really all about? Cause they throw away black lives like paper towels plus unemployment rate. What, 40 million now? Killed a man in broad day. Might never see a trial. We just want to break chains like slaves in the South. Started in the North End, but we in the downtown. Riot cops try to block. Now